Sir, how long have you been unattended in this wretched hall? For bleed never, if you'll excuse the expression. No one tells me what's going on, I'm not furniture. <laughs> Is the new patient ward far from here? Miles away, I've heard. I've never been, thank God. Why do you say that? Well, Matron keeps a few special cases there, but mostly it's terminal ones. Morgue's close by, you see. Long as I'm out here, I can't be too sick. <coughs> is Dr. McCabe still the staff coroner? He is. As I'm here, I'll just pop in and pay my respects. Will you sign me in? Seeing your professional are recorded. The morgue only, mind. Don't make a nuisance of yourself. <laughs> Don't dally in the halls, Doctor. Greetings, McCabe. You're well, I hope. Might I have a word? Hmm, hello, Doctor. A word, by all means, but not much more. I'm rather busy with the subject from the Diogenes Club conflagration. My God, that's not Mycroft Holmes. No, no. He's in the new ward. This is Sir Hubert Fortescue. You didn't know the old fellow, I surmise. Well, now you never will. <clears throat> Hmm. Was there anything among the old man's effects which marked him as a member of the Diogenes? A lapel pin, for example? His wallet contained only money, no personal items, no jewellery, no watch. Older people frequently disdain such items. Might I ask what your examination of the old man has revealed? I'd like to satisfy your curiosity, but I may say nothing without official authorization. My report will be circulated at the inquest. Might you divulge the cause of Sir Hubert's death? I nearly witnessed it. I'm sorry, Doctor. Without authorization, I'm obliged to keep silent on that subject. As a professional courtesy, you may view his clothes if you wish. As I recall, there was a circuitous passage from here to the old patient ward. Can the new ward be likewise approached from here? Nothing simpler. But, Doctor, a cynical man might suppose the purpose of your visit was not entirely social. I admit it, McCabe, I'm sorry. Matron flatly denied my request to see Mycroft Holmes. The passage is open. Through that door and straight along. But she will not be pleased to learn that you have circumvented her authority. I'll take the chance. Better you than me, Dr. Watson. My dear fellow, I had no idea. How are you, sir? We're as comfortable as can be, poor dear, though we won't say so.
Are you able to speak, sir? Please give me a sign. He doesn't wish to speak. Stubbornness, I believe. I had no idea Mr. Holmes' injuries were so extensive. What is his condition? Tolerable, though he won't answer a direct question and rattles on most peculiarly from time to time. However, the party you address is not Mr. Holmes. I beg your pardon? The gentleman in white is not Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes is in bed three, as you can see for yourself. Ah, yes, of course, to be sure. Hello, Mycroft. It's John Watson. Sister treating you well? What's that? Who is there? Oh, Doctor. Fine, 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 fine. Flit on, cheering angel. She is not. I mean, tin shoes. Hmm? Sherlock's in a funk, sir. I'm trying to revive him. Can you help? Ask me to be. He who kills a misery. Not free to be, don't flee. Where's the key? A former tree. Who's the key? What? How? Treachery. Mendacity. If he's free, he should see if I have the key or I ought to be. He just might see conspiracy. Privacy. Oh, it's a terrible thing to hear a grown man speak to Rivel. If you don't mind, sister, I'd appreciate a bit of privacy. Well, excuse me, I'm sure. I'll tell Sherlock you're in good hands. Please, don't interfere with the patient, sir. No touching. Very unsanitary. Will you please bring Mr. Holmes some fresh water? I mustn't leave the ward. My patients depend on me. Please make an exception. I'll watch your patients. I'm a doctor. Very well. Anywise, I'm perishing for a cup of tea. I'll try to put this to good use, Mycroft. You took your time, Doctor. I was about to send out a search party. Thank you, Matron. As always, you are the soul of civility.
Why didn't you say you was a member? Save us both some aggro.